Late August 1999, Kabaka Ronald Mwenda Mutebi took Lady Slivia Nejinda as his bride to Namembe Cathedral at a wedding attended by the who and who of Uganda, including the president. There was no best man, a position that many people had been jostling for. The Kabaka married at a relatively advanced age of 44 because of the turmoil and uncertainty of his life, having been raised in exile after the abolition of his father's kingdom in 1966. <laughs> A year or so before the wedding, the Kabaka had shown no sign of getting engaged. Buke de newspapers started running series of the Kabaka's women. There was, of course, Venetia Sewudandi, a high-ranking official in the Republic of Rwanda government, who is mother of his first-born child, Prince Junju. Buke de also ran profiles of other ladies the Kabaka had had affairs with. When Buke de started running the series, there were some vocal condemnations of the paper by Baganda royalists who said it was intrusion into the king's private life. But the series were extremely popular and the newspaper was selling out. Finally, when the engagement to Slivia, who was living in the U.S. as a journalist, was announced, Buke de stopped inquiring into the Kabaka's love affairs. The people started lining up to take their contribution for the royal wedding, a process that lasted weeks. People who have come to, 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 to support the wedding have been from America, from India, from Europe, from Nigeria, from Somali, and all the tribes of Uganda, which shows that the king, our Kabaka, is a Kabaka for all. One day, Bukede editors and staff also took their contribution to Mengo. The Katikiro, Joseph Murwanyamuli Semugere, specifically thanked Bukede for provoking the Kabaka into taking the decision. The issue of Bukede having intruded onto the Kabaka's life was this settled and closed. The Navagereka, Lady Slivia, eventually gave birth to Princess Sangaliambogo. However, unlike other monarchies, there is provision for a female Kabaka in Buganda. And firstborn Junju could not easily become Kabaka because, as firstborn, whose title is Chiwewa, is expected to succeed his father as head of family, which is different from kings. No wonder Prince Junju is already his father's investment partner. Additionally, Junju's mother, not being a Muganda, he cannot customarily become Kabaka because the Kabaka takes his mother's clan. This is a rotational guarantee that no clan can monopolize the Kabaka ship. Every clan can produce a king of Buganda. To know the Buganda well, you must know how you must know their culture. That's win their hearts easily. Show them that you appreciate it. One day in January 2012, Katikiro J.B. Walusimbi announced that the Kabaka had had a son, Prince Richard Semakokido. Photos of a happy Kabaka carrying the baby, who was about six months, fronted newspaper pages. The Katikiro announced, very importantly, that Semakokido's mother was one of the Nsenene clan. To the Baganda, that was enough indication the heir to the crown had been named. The name of the mother was not given because the Kabaka was married in a Christian church to Queen Slivia. The Baganda were ecstatic and prominent bishops of different Christian denominations congratulated the Kabaka for fathering a child out of the so-called wedlock because he was fulfilling his royal obligation. Kabaka Mutebi himself was a love child whose father, King Edward Frederick Mutesa, had 
with his mother, Sarah, who happened to be a sister of the official wife, Damali. In his biographical memoirs, Mutesa explained that he had had an affair with Sarah before, but had instead married her sister after they had had a quarrel, what he called a lover's teeth. Prince Mutebi was actually due to be born when the Kabaka was in his first exile. He had to send his lover Sarah back to Buganda to ensure that Mutebi was born in his land as future king. Although it is clear that Prince Richard Semakokiro is the next king of Buganda, he will have to wait for a long while as he grows up because Kabaka Mutebi is relatively young, enjoys good health and at 64 is already the longest living Buganda Kabaka ever. Music